Yeah, hello, I'm Magic Turtle 643 and welcome to the Rainbow Show. This is a variety show where everything I do is determined by these cards. Mm, that one, what's that? Orange. I found these new video ideas. I had one about how to be married, which we ended up doing, and then one for a movie review show that was supposed to be terrible. Welcome to Magic Turtles Movie Review Corner. Today we're going to be reviewing three movies, all three reboots. Number one, The Fantastic Four. More like fantastic movie. This movie's got some dudes in it, a couple of green things, you gotta see it. Number two, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Everyone's in this movie. Benedict Cumberbatch, not him specifically. You just gotta see it. Number three, Ghostbusters. This movie's got ghosts. Pretty sure they get busted. You just gotta watch it. Now, Orange, you glad I didn't use that idea? All right, let's pick a new segment here. How about that one? Purple is where I parody a random video from the YouTubes. Oh, it's some sort of stop motion wrestling thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to make my own YouTube video that tries to capture the essence of this one while staying true to the art form. How about that one? It's blue. Blue Cube by Licorice Lover. What's your opinion on the decreasing potato diversity? I, d I didn't notice that this was a problem because I don't see potato colors. Like if you were to show me a, a potato, I would just see it as a potato. What should we do from here on out? Two words. Nothing. Yep. Blue Q, what's your Patronus? Uh, it's kind of, it's we, it's a turtle, like you might think, but it, it comes out, like, it looks like it's been drawn by an eight-year-old. I don't, I don't, don't have control over it. And what, I, I, Iver, Ivermorny house are you in? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm gonna say pa Pagodorus. Blue Q, life? There's an easy answer to the question of life, and it can be answered with this simple proverb. You can bring a man to water, but you can't make his horse fish for a day unless you look it in the mouth and... Beat it when it's dead. Okay, let's do another segment. Let's grab that one. Red. Red is the random rant where I take a random noun from the internet and I mash it into a link bait generator and rant about something that I don't actually even feel strongly about, but let's pretend I do. There you go. Eight unbelievable things you never knew about ponchos. Number one, poncho is comes from the French word pangora, which means carpet prints, because you put a rug on yourself and you feel like royalty. Number two, it's hard to make jokes about ponchos without seeming racist. Number three, a recent study from the University of Colorado, Mexico, says that the recent surge in poncho sales is because of people wanting to stick their head out of a hole to sort of relive their birthing process. Number four, ponchos are one of only three things that you can actually make simply by cutting a hole in something else, with the second one being a rift in the space-time continuum that sends you to the intergalactic realm of Schnur, where the mud people lead the kingdom of <laughs> and the third one being crotchless panties. Number five, poncho backwards is oh schnapp, which sounds like you're saying oh snap, but like in like a really weird accent. Number six, ponchos were actually invented by another invention that preceded them, invented by Richard Baghead Jones, where he would just take a burlap sack, cut a hole in it, put it on his head, and then wrap it and just like wear nothing else, just like a, a brown bag and run around. And the guy who invented ponchos was like, I can work with that, I just need to do the opposite. <laughs> Number seven, you can actually make a poncho out of a couple of pieces of tinfoil and a night owl. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> and finally, number eight. Ponchos are really just a double-sided cape, but they don't grant you any superpowers, except for, I guess, covering up your paunch? <gasps> okay, there's only four colors left. Let's do one more segment. How about that one? What's that? Indigo. I'm the head honcho of the poncho, but I must be staunch, though. This is the poncho. You thought I said that I didn't, I said poncho And that's it for the Rainbow Show If you have any questions you want to see in the next Blue Q segment Leave them down below, share it with your friends And remember, if you make a you poncho You gotta put it on, you don't make yourself See yourself in the mirror Because you're gonna hate it